Welcome to this uh, end-end session. I'm Céline Aubert, the Communication Coordinator of the Ontologies COP, and I will facilitate the session. Marie-Angélique Laporte, Associate Scientist at the Alliance Biodiversity Seattle, will teach us how to search and request new terms in ontologies using the example of the crop ontology and the agronomy ontology. Over to you, Marie. Yeah, thank you, Céline. The session today is going to be divided in two parts. The first part is going to be a short um, presentation about all the concepts that we uh, that we need to uh, submit new requests to um, submit new terms to ontologies. And, and the second part would be a practical exercise where, where, exercise where we can apply what we've seen during the, the, the presentation. And so that's the outline of the session for today. And first, I'm going to give like really a short introduction on, on ontologies and, and what they are and why they are important uh, and why they're important. Then we are going to look at GitHub a little bit and particularly to uh, add the GitHub issue tracker uh, that we are going to use to submit new requests to the agronomy ontology. Then I'm going to present the term submission form that has been developed for the crop ontology um, um, and, and, and Planteum um, uh, to submit new term to the crop ontology. Then I'm going to explain what happens when we use submit a term. So I will explain like the ontology curate, uh, curation workflow a little bit. Then finally, there will be a time for question. And then that would be the exercise where we you will be able to um, to to test and, and to create a new request on the ontology agronomy uh, agronomy ontology um, uh, uh, tracker and 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 on the using the term submission form of the crop ontology. Okay. First, I'm going to give a quick introduction on, on ontology. So just as a reminder of uh, what are uh, ontologies. So ontologies are defining all the terms and the relationship among those, those terms of a specific uh, domain. And all the terms and the relationship have um, a unique identifier that can be um, accessible from anywhere on the web, and that give all the information um, about this uh, term and relationship. And ontology also um, provide a set of axiom, um, uh, axiom and that are machine readable, so that lets also not only human to understand like the term and the relationship, but also the machine. And, and, and just, yeah, so why we need ontology? Because they really facilitate like the data publication, the data access and the like, data analysis. So um, here uh, in this session, we will focus only on two ontologies or, or maybe a bit more because the crop ontology is like a set of, uh, of ontologies. So the crop ontology is like um, a, a set of crop specific um, uh, phenotypic uh, threat uh, ontologies. And then I would focus on also on the agronomy ontology, which is like um, an ontology designed to, um, uh, to model uh, agronomic trials. Um, including like or, um, you know the uh, weather variables, uh, the weather condition, like the management practices that you do in the field, and 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 anything like that. So that's the two ontologies that we are gonna uh, uh, see today, and that we are gonna work on um, some and learn how to submit new term to to these two uh, ontologies. So again, why ontologies are, are important because of the concept of the fair principle, findable and accessible, interoperable and reusable uh, principle uh, for data and metadata. Uh, ontology are key to the interoperable piece. So because as you can see, so uh, in this uh, principle is stated that the meta and the, uh, the metadata and the data should use a formal accessible shared and broadly uh, applicable language for knowledge representation. And that's it's like exactly what ontology are. So why, uh, what are the benefits ontology here I just put a small example of a, a data file that um, uh, that uh, that is um, what we get usually uh, uh, when we want to collect data on an agriculture uh, uh, yeah, agronomy trial so here I mean it's, it's pretty simple one line represents like a plot or a, a, yeah a, a site or you know here a farmer and then you'll have information about some practices and then some things that are measured in the field and, 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 but really, I mean, if you are out, out of, of the domain and you're not really an expert, I mean, uh, some things can be pretty hard to, to understand, like what is CA, 
what does that mean? We don't, we don't, we don't know uh, what is CP. And, and here you can see like the dates have been entered in, in, in different format because probably that's from different sites. So, so you know, it's not easy to, to take that data set and then reuse it without having like a, 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 a context. But by using ontologies, we can uh, go from that uh, file to that file, so where you will be able to uh, replace uh, the term and, and, and the value in your header and, and in your value by ontology term. And as I said, I mean, each term has a unique URI. And when you click on a term, then you can see like um, all the information related to that term. And then you can learn that the CP and CI were, were used for conventional tillage and conservation tillage. And so now, you know, you can really uh, make sense of, of that data set. So just uh, to sum up, like the benefit of, of using a, a, your ontology when you annotate your data, that, that, that will be that the data once annotated can be easily shared and understood among scientists as the ambiguity is reduced, uh, thanks to uh, the use of these URIs that are accessible from, uh, accessible from everywhere. The data also can be inte uh, easily integrated with existing resources, existing uh, annotated data set. The data can be searchable in, in, in a very efficient way using different view and context but based on these ontologies. And, and finally, the, the, the data will be of better quality because like a, a quality check uh, can be easily run uh, on these ontologies and annotated data. So now that we know uh, about what are ontology, we are going to focus on um, uh, on uh, on where to find them. So you um, the uh, so when you want to find like uh, to know if an ontology term exists and that's really the the, the thing that we are going to look uh, work on today. We you need to access uh, to an ontology registry. So here I, I I I took the example of the ontology lookup service of the EBI, but you could have used like the agro portal. That is a, a, a registry um, uh, focusing on only agro, uh, agriculture and agronomy. So no, agriculture, not only agronomy. So yeah. So here I, I look for a term uh, that I want um, that I have in my, in my data, like we we seen tillage, and I want to see if this term exists in ontology. So here you can just look for tillage, and then you get you know terms and with the definition and, and everything. But but really our um, our training is. If I look for a term and, and I don't find it, so that means that I cannot annotate my data and then I'm kind of stuck. So the idea is that instead of being stuck, you're going to request uh, the term to existing ontologies so the, uh, the term can be added and then a, a URI, like the unique identifier, can be generated that you can use in, in your data. So that's what we, we, we are going to see today. And so how to request a, a, a term? So there's three main ways to request a term to ontologies. Um, uh, so the first is using the term submission form. So we're going to see that example, uh, uh, the, the form that we developed for the, the core ontology. You can also use like a GitHub issue tracker. Uh, as all ontologies are maintained on GitHub. And finally, the third way is to use um, uh, 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 to make a GitHub pull request, uh, but that will be covered in, in future webinars. And, 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 and these three ways can be used to request new term, but not only, or also if you look for a term uh, in one ontology registry and, and you see that the definition is not what you expect, or maybe you see that a synonym is missing, I mean, you can ask also for change on existing term using this way, uh, these three um, techniques. So, so yeah, so let's, uh, let's start and, and, and start with, um, uh, with getting familiar with, uh, with GitHub and, and see the example ontology um, GitHub issue tracker. So what is GitHub? So yeah, so GitHub is a code hosting platform for version control and, and collaboration. It's based on Git. A Git is a version control system, meaning that it's going to save all the changes that you make on your file and, 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 and uh, directories folder. And so by keeping an historical record of each uh, save. Git allows you to push uh, your project, so your, your file on, on GitHub, 
by um, uh, so Git work on your local machine and GitHub is like online, so it's a remote storage. So it allows you to push from your local um, changes on your machine to something online that everybody can see. So it really enables collaboration and 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 also um, collaboration and also allows like uh, attribution because. Um, people know who make uh, the, the request or make the changes. So now we're going to go over some uh, definition uh, on GitHub, like some uh, vocabulary, because it's going to be easier for, for you to understand. So the key elements on GitHub are repositories. So a repository really represents a single project. So on your, on your local machine, it's just going to be like a folder. Then on GitHub, you have branches. And branches, uh, branching is the way to work on different versions of a repository at, at one time. So you have the main uh, version of your folder. Then you're going to create a branch. That's going to be a copy at first of this uh, main branch. And then you're going to make your changes in that uh, branch that you just created. And once you save like one change or several changes, and you uh, submit that, that is called uh, a commit. And each commit comes with a, a, a commit message. So, you know, you describe what are the, what are the change uh, about and, 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 and so everybody can, uh, can know what you did. Then, so you can do that uh, several times. You can create um, several commits. Once you're happy with, with the changes, then you can request them to be integrated back to the main branch. And that process is called like a pull request. So once you open a pull request, someone is going to review your changes to just check that everything looks OK, that uh, is, everything is still working. And, and then they're going to accept. Uh, and, and so they are going to look at what you did by looking at the diffs that are um, the difference uh, uh, in content uh, between your branch and the, the main branch. And, and they are going to look at the addition and deletion that, yeah, that you made, review that everything in fine, and then merge this pull request uh, in the main branch. So that's the process of GitHub. And so something also um, um, that comes with every repository on GitHub is like the issue trackers. And, and, and really, issues are just tickets that people can op uh, open to, 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 to keep track of task that need to be ma uh, made to, uh, to keep track of enhancement and bugs. And, and, and so that's really what um, helps the community to uh, let the developer know that some things need to change. So that's what we are going to see now in details. So uh, when you, um, uh, so the GitHub issue tracker. So uh, first, uh, when to create an issue you, or comment on an, an existing issue, you need first to be um, logged into GitHub. So you need first to log in or register if you don't have a GitHub account. And here I put the link of, uh, of GitHub. Then you need to find the issue tracker of, uh, of your choice. And for the crop ontologies, you will need to go to the Plantium GitHub. I put the link in, 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 in this presentation. And all the links are also going to be put in the chat by Selin. So for the crop ontologies, uh, since the crop ontology are crop specific, you will have one repository per, per crop. So one repository per crop ontology. And so on the planté on GitHub, you can just search for the crop and then you'll find quite easily like the repository that, uh, that you want uh, to request the term uh, to. And for the agronomy ontology, I, I put the link there. So that's on the repo of the agronomy ontology. Here you can see an example of the, 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 the agronomy ontology GitHub repository. And then you can see you have the issues, so that's where you need to go um, when you want to open an issue. You see that there's some issues there um, that are um, yeah that are there, and then here it's uh, when you want to open a new issue, you just have to click on that file uh, on that um, uh, yeah on that button. Sorry. And then that opens like a form that is quite simple. So basically, you have two fields, two, two, yeah, two set of 
fields. One is for the title. So here I started to, to type NTR. That's for new term request. That's a, uh, that is like a keyword for us to know that someone is uh, requesting a new term. And then you can put like the, the name of your term there. And then you have one part uh, of that form just to, to leave comments leave a comment and also describe what you want in your issue. So here I'm taking a, 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 an example of one of the um, issues that we that we have for the agronomy ontology. So and we can go through that issue to uh, see the uh, important elements. So that issue was a new term request uh, requested by Richard uh, um, for a term that was a uh, bare fallow land. And so that terms come, um, Richard provided a definition. So we know what that term was about. He provided also like, um, you know, the position of that term in the hierarchy. So because uh, Richard is quite familiar with the ontology and also he, he provided some um, uh, sub related terms. So, you know, it, as I said, in, in ontology, it's about terms and also relationship to other terms. So he provided also information about that. Then we can see that I, ask uh, Richard if like the relationship that the uh, yeah some more information about how the relationship should be created in, in the ontology to be sure that everything was was okay and then you can see that that Céline closed the, the issue in this number uh, represent a commit so meaning that Céline uh, added like the ontologies uh, the, the term to the ontology following like the discussion that we had so, so that's really the, 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 the process of, of how to uh, request a term. So just to kind of sum up uh, quickly, uh, the information that are mandatory uh, when you create a, a, a GitHub a request is of course the title with the, the name of the term that you want to add. We would like also to get like a definition and the link to a, a definition source that we can add when we add the term in the ontology. And as optional information, I mean, as nice if you are familiar with the ontology, but it's okay if you are not, we can find uh, that ourselves. That would be to provide um, the proposed a proposed position of the term in in the ontology but also as that said uh, the link to other terms and and if you have like possible synonyms also i mean that's that's nice if there's not that that's okay and also we uh, we ask you to provide a, a, an orc id and i will come back on why uh, providing uh, an orc id is important a little bit later in in the in the presentation but that just like uh, summarizes nicely what we expect when you create a new term uh, on GitHub. So now we are going to move to the uh, online term submission form um, that have been developed for the crop ontology and plantium and um, and the breed basis. So this is a fairly um, a simple, uh, a simple, uh, simple tool, um, a, a simple tool, and you can. Um, where you know it's just a form-based um, page where you can select your ontology, give your information, and get and then give information about the the, the term that you want to request. And basically, with that form, you can do three things. So, it, so the, there will be three different forms that gonna guide you instead of just having like a, an empty GitHub issue that gonna guide you in terms of the type of information that you need to provide. And so we have one form that. Um, uh, uh, that uh, guides you when you want to create a new term, one form when you want to update an existing term, and one term when you want to add or request for a synonym. Uh, one form, sorry. And so these, um, uh, so so that's uh, what you can do with that form, and that form works only for the crop ontologies for for now. And you can find the form at two different uh, places. One is on uh, um, this uh, URL that is hosted by Plantium. And currently, so at, um, eventually, all the crop ontologies will be there. But currently, since we are kind of still uh, uh, testing all that, uh, that tool, it, on, it's only available for cereals, so rice, maize, rice, wheat, and um, and out for now, but all the crop are going to be added uh, uh, really soon to that form. And then you have this version of the form that has been created for the root tuber and banana RTB program of the research program of the CGAR. 
and that focus on rotugo and bananas. So here you will find, um, uh, you can use that term if you want to request uh, a, a trait or variable to um, the um, cassava, banana, sweet potato, and yam. So that's the two forms that you can use. And how to use that form? So since that form has been, uh, has been designed to submit new term to or, or changes to existing term to the crop ontology, I will um, recommend that you look at the crop ontology guidelines because as you know, or if you don't know, I'm gonna explain. So the crop ontology is, um, is um, each crop ontology is uh, um, provide like a list of uh, phenotypic variables that can that are used by breeders in the field, and these variables can be um, used directly in field book uh, application in the field um, uh, behind the the, the scene, uh, behind the field book, uh, field book app, and 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 be used to annotate data from the start. And in the crop ontology, uh, a variable is like the unique combination of uh, phenotypic traits, so a trait. And, and the method of measurement, so how this trait is measured and then a scale or unit, so how this trait is recorded. So is it recorded in a specific unit or using a, a, a specific scale, for instance, for color or disease resistance? And this is uh, giving you the variable. So the form, where, so these three elements, um, um, uh, are, when you request a new variable using the term submission form, you will have to provide information about the three elements. And, 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 and for these three elements, uh, we have these guidelines that's gonna, um, that explain the type of information that we expect in the threat definition, in, in the method definition, that defines also the different categories of threats, the different categories of method and scale that we have in the ontology. So, so yeah, everything can be found there and our guidelines are accessible uh, on our website, but also uh, following that link. Uh, again, how to use the form. So to go back to that, the, uh, for, for using the form, you, you need e either like a GitHub account or just an email if you don't have a GitHub account, but I will strongly um, uh, encourage you to create a GitHub account as uh, if you use a, a GitHub account to sign with the form, then you will get notification of um, all the updates that are made on your request. So for instance, where uh, if you need more information, it's easier for us to contact you. Um, and also when the term is added, then you get an email uh, notifying, uh, notifying you that the term has been added. So really, I think I, I really encourage you to, to use GitHub with the form. And, and what the form do, so when you fill in the form and click on submit, then basically the form opens a, a, an issue on GitHub, but it just guides you um, um, uh, for the step and the information that you need to provide. And just a, a, a note that I put there at the bottom of the, the slide is just if you need to submit a long list of uh, variables uh, to the crop ontology, maybe the form is not like the uh, most uh, efficient way to do so, uh, so. So we still have our thread dictionary template that is available on our website, but also on this URL that you can use. And then you can attach that form to a GitHub issue uh, but without using the form, but that's just uh, just wanted to 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 point that uh, that out. And so once you use the form, then you can see that um, we will um, the issue will be created and will be like that first, like information about the submitter, and then you know the the request uh, content. So here it was about like a, a new term request and you can see like uh, the different information that have been entered nicely using the form. So now that you created your, your, your request, what, what happens? So as a user, you create a, a request, a, a new request using either our term submission form or di directly using the GitHub issue tracker, then our crop ontology, uh, the, the, not only crop ontology, the uh, ontology curator is notified by, by email that the, the, the term, that an issue has been uh, created uh, on the repo. Then he is gonna look at what has been, um, the information that has been um, made on the issue. If he needs more information, he's gonna uh, comment on the same issue. 
So either by email or by logging uh, logging into to GitHub, then the user is going to be uh, notified uh, again. Then um, if uh, there's a need, a need for more information, the user can just uh, comment on the same issue, either by the email that he received or through uh, GitHub directly. Then once everybody uh, everything is fine and everybody's happy, then the term is added to the ontology and then the term can be accessible um, uh, through one of the ontology repository. Um, here I listed the, the Planteum and the ontology lookup service of the EBI and on Agro portal. So that's really your curation workflow. Everything is transparent, everything is open, everything is discussed on, on this GitHub issue tracker. Uh, letting also not only the, the user that created the issue know that something has been created, but also uh, letting like the entire community that uh, a change has been made on the ontology. And now I want to go back to why we needed um, uh, the the orc ID um, that I mentioned before when you you we create a, a request because we want to cite you and 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 recognize your contribution to to the ontologies, and and so every creator and contributor of ontology uh, terms can be added as the metadata of the the term. So one good practice for that is to use a, an orc ID. And here I put an example of the agronomy ontology where you can see that um, this term has been uh, added uh, or created by uh, by um, by this uh, person and that's that's me so that's my my orc id so that's an example where you can see how we um, we cite uh, contributors to to the ontology and here on the crop ontology you can also see that at the variable um, level on um, at the metadata you will find information about the scientists that uh, created that terms that term and here you can see is still like uh, uh, you can see their name but uh, we are going to move from having names um, to using orc id and that's what we describe in, in on the guidelines so so but that's uh, this process is going, is going to take some time so yeah so here you can see in both ontologies that our collaborators are, are cited um, and we really are thankful for them to contribute uh, to have contributed to to our ontologies so yeah, now it's uh, the end of this short introduction of what we're going to uh, play with today. And so, yeah, really the key message is, is, is if you see something uh, is missing or something is, is, is wrong or not correct in, in the ontology, so please start contributing to, to ontologies. That will help reduce uh, the gap uh, in, in the ontologies in, in agriculture. And so there will be a better coverage of the, um, the, the, the when the, the data needs to be annotated. Uh, by doing so, also, um, uh, when if you can find all the, the term in ontology, as I said, I mean, and you annotate your data, that, that will ensure like an interoperability between your data and, and other people's uh, data. Um, and, and this is because we are all using at the end the same standard and contributing to existing uh, standard instead of reinventing the wheel. So yeah, so that will really ensure that the interoperability and, and, that's, and that's important. And really, if you have any question at any point when you want to submit a new term or, or a change, please contact our, our, our team. I mean, we will be more happy than, you know, than, than, than else. So, so please uh, contact us if you have a, any question or any comment on anything. So now we're going to start like the exercise part. There are four steps uh, in this exercise. One would be looking for uh, terms in, in the uh, OLS or in uh, on AgroPortal. One term would be to log in on GitHub. And then one would be to use like the term submission form. And then one would be to create an issue on GitHub. So the first step is to look at um, I do in an ontology, the, uh, ontology search and look for terms that are existing or terms that are not existing because we want to create a request. So here there is a link to the two ontology registry and here I put like, a, so tillage is a term that exists and here I, I also listed two terms that don't exist. So this uh, renewal pruning is missing in the agronomy ontology. We are going to see that uh, in one moment. And then this boiled sweet potato surface uh, uh, color intensity is also uh, missing from the sweet potato crop ontology. So um, I'm going to do that step first. So first I click on the link, 
that's the page of the OLS, that's really easy. And then um, I'm gonna look for my missing term, but that's, I know. So, so here I, I type a renewal pruning, that is a type of, of, of pruning. And here I found that in the uh, agronomy ontology, there is this pruning process. Uh, so yeah, all our management practices are having the name processes. So that can be also, that explained in, in, in the agronomy uh, ontology presentation, why we have that, but that's really like uh, the pruning in, in the field. So I want to look a bit more into that term. So here I found the definition of a pruning. I can find on that part, like, you know, the, the terms it, it, it relates to. Here I can find, like as I said before, the unique uh, uh, identifier for that term. So if I copy that, paste that uh, on a web browser, it's going to take me to, um, to the information on that term. And here I can uh, copy uh, that. And here I can look into pruning because I'm not interested in pruning per se, but really in this renewal pruning that is a type of pruning process. And here I can, I, I can see that it's not there. So then that would be... Uh, something that I need to, to add. Then I can uh, go back to uh, the uh, OLS on page and, and look for a term that exists because I mean, yeah, in some time, uh, some, and here I can look for the tillage and here I can see that there are several terms related to tillage. So, you know, tillage death and then type of tillage and then tillage implements. So, so yeah, so that's how you can use the OLS. But the next step is very is is very short. So as I said before, to do any request, you need to have a GitHub account and to be logged into to GitHub. So this step is just please log in uh, to GitHub uh, by uh, clicking that link, link. So I'm gonna do that. Me, I have already a GitHub account. You know, yeah, I click that link and then it takes me to my GitHub um, homepage. So the, the, the step three is going to be requesting a term using the term submission form of, of the crop ontology. So I'm going to use a click on, 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 the, on the link. Then I, I, there is the form. As I said, there are th uh, three forms, one from creating a new term, updating a, a, term, a term, and adding synonyms. You can see that the form, uh, the information that is uh, uh, requested for uh, is uh, going to vary depending on the type of request that you want to do. Now, what I want to do is I'll show you how to add a new term because I think it's uh, it's important. Here you can find the list of ontologies that you can uh, submit a term to. Let's say that I want to submit uh, something to the rice ontology. So I will have to fill in my name and my organization. Then I'm going to have to fill in that form. So since it's, if you have a real term to add, that that's great. I uh, I uh, I encourage you to add the, the to use the form for for that. But if you don't have one, I will also encourage you to still try the form. So uh, uh, for that, just type uh, that you are trying to do a test. So let's just say it's a test, and I want to add like tiller number. So I'm gonna, uh, gonna do that, and then I'm gonna have to to decide uh, the the category of the trade. So all the information in that form are mandatory and uh, except for the synonyms. So you will have to fill, in, uh, fill it on all the forms. So you will have for the crop ontology to know in which category, broad category that trait belong to. If you are not sure, just pick one that, that then the curator will look at the, at, at the, at the issue anyway and, 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 and let you know if, it, uh, if we think that the, the term should belong to a different category. So here, let's say I'm gonna say it's morphological. And then, uh, so I don't have really synonym for, for that term, but here I'm gonna have to say that it's a number of tillers. Okay, that would be the definition of, of that term. Then here you can find a, a, a already existing terms, but, and here I, I comes uh, for the method. So let's say that I, I, I'm gonna, uh, count the number of tillers uh, using a, a computer, like you know, that I would be using like a sort of um, I don't know ima image based uh, um, uh, count. So I'm just uh, describe like the method of measurement there. And as I said, like in in the crop ontology, 
uh, we are gonna uh, we ask also information about the scale. So is it like just a unit of measurement or is it a categorical scale? Here for just to show you how categorical scale uh, are added, I'm gonna uh, select that because I think it's good to, to see that once at least. So you're gonna add one category. I'm gonna say that the category one is gonna be few for a number and then the category two is gonna be lots so that's just how you add a, a, a categorical scale uh, using that form so you, every time you need a new one you just have to add a category just say like the the thing that is going to likely be in your data so it's going to be uh, yeah the category number of and then a description of what that means and then once you're happy and you're feeling uh, all the information you you read the you understand the what is stated here, and then you can click directly on submit with, with GitHub. And that's really easy. You click on that button, and then it takes you to that, to the issue uh, directly that it opened, and then you can review like the, uh, your request. So that was uh, my part. So now I um, ask you to, to do the same. So please uh, go on uh, one of our termination forms. So this one is gonna have oat, wheat, and rice. And this one is gonna have yam, po sweet potato, cassava, and banana. So uh, select your, um, your form and, and please create a test so you can see that um, uh, how it works. Uh, Elizabeth created a, a, a term. So here you can see that I, I, I got like a, a, a notification by, by email that letting me know that Elizabeth creating that, that term. And then I can either reply, if I need more information, I can either reply in my email or I can click on this, view it on GitHub and then work on, on the term from there. Mm -hmm. So then the, the next exercise will be just to create an issue on the issue, the agro issue tracker. So uh, we are gonna, I'm gonna do it quickly uh, for you. So I click on the link, this is directly the issue tracker. And as I said, because I'm logging to, to GitHub, I can just create, on, I see this green button there and I say, okay, new issue. So I want to create a new term uh, request. We've seen that the renewal pruning is, is missing in, in, in the ontology. So I want to request it. I prepared, oh no, this, yeah, yeah, there. So I prepared, I looked uh, on the internet for this um, uh, renewal printing and I found like this, um, this uh, uh, good uh, uh, document that explained like, that give the different types of, of tools for, for pruning and then, you know, that explains several things about the pruning um, uh, practice. And then there I can see that there are uh, discussing about the, the, the renewal uh, pruning. So I can copy and paste that and say, okay, uh, that would be uh, the definition of the term. And I'm just copy and paste uh, that sentence. I mean, that might not be ideal, but that will do for this exercise. And then for the source, I'm just gonna, uh, go, going to copy and paste the URL of the, the page, but it can be a publication, it can be anything really. And then I'm going to say that uh, the proposed uh, parent class is going to be the pruning process that we've seen uh, on the OLS before, because uh, this uh, this renewal pruning is a specific type of pruning process. And that's it. Then I can submit a new issue, and and basically that's it. And then yeah. So, so that's also fairly easy where, when you have like all the information that you have. If you have a, a, a real term, please submit it you, uh, using the uh, new term request um, tag. If you are just testing, maybe just put test. I should have done that. Just put like, um, you know, a test, new term retest, test, and then the, the term of your choice. You can do it also using like this thing, renewal pruning. So yeah, so please, it's your turn. Uh, try the uh, issue um, agro um, issue tracker to request for for a term. I can see also that uh, someone created a term, um, a test term for um, 
uh, related to food safety, <laughs> seafood safety in the agronomy ontology. So you see, I can just click on that and uh, yeah, I get notified and then start to, to work on that. So thank you very much, Marie. Thank you uh, for this clear guide guidelines and thank you all for your uh, active participation. We hope that now you feel more comfortable to use GitHub, to use the term submission form and to uh, contribute to ontology. <clears throat> we encourage you to practice in the coming weeks, so feel free to use the term submission form and the GitHub account of Agro. <laughs> and uh, you, you can create test um, issue if you, if you want. And if you uh, need support, we'll be he happy to help you. So just feel free to contact us. And also, if you want to learn about a specific topic related to semantic, you can contact us and we can organize a similar end zone uh, than, than the one we did today. So here is the contact of Elizabeth Arno, the cop lead. Uh, so you can contact, uh, you can contact her uh, if you uh, have uh, any uh, topic in mind. Thank you very much to all of you for your participation. A special thank you for Marie for sharing the knowledge with us. Thank you very much to all of you.